Hi everyone, my name is Portia and today I'm going to be reviewing my Celine clutch with chain bag. Um, so I got this bag back in 2022. It was an impulse buy. I initially went into the Celine boutique just to buy one belt. And then um, while I was waiting for the sales assistant to get my belt of my size, I was I had my eyes, um, you know, going around the store and I saw this baby. It was like standing on its own and I'm like, hey, let me give this a try. Like I'm naturally a very small bag person. Like um, I like carrying things that would just fit my essentials and I tend to gravitate towards smaller bags because when it's too big, uh, it just gets so heavy and troublesome to walk around. I do walk a lot. I live in Singapore. Um, so I take the MRT, like our public transport, I take the bus, I walk a lot. So um, smaller bags are better for me and for my lifestyle. So the first thing I like about this bag is it fits a ton. Um, so since we're here, I'm going to share with you what's in my bag. So this is basically very much full. I'm, I was still able to zip it all the way around um, without making it look so bulky or out of shape or um, overfilling it. So these are the things that are in my bag. I have my phone. This is a Apple iPhone 13 Pro. I think I got this. Um, fits almost the exact same size, width and length. Okay. I also have my um, card holder, and this is the long kind, yeah? Um, Saint Laurent, if you want to know. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, yeah, it fits pretty well, nicely in there. I have my house keys. I have my AirPods here. Um, I have a Tide pen and I have a spare um, cat food for the neighborhood cat. And I also have a whole entire shopping bag that I use for shopping in here. Okay, so that's all I have in there. It fits a ton. Um, it's a lot bigger than you think. Um, and it fits all of these things in there. So if you have a similar amount of people, uh, amount of things that you have to carry around every day, this would be a very versatile bag. It's um, it's bigger than you might think, and um, if you don't overfill it, <coughs> if you fill it to the brim, it still looks like it has structure, and you're not like making it look bulky. Okay. And the second thing I like about this bag is that it has a very versatile look. So it's not too dressed up and it's not too casual. So um, it's kind of like in the middle. Um, you don't want to be flashy, especially if you're traveling. Um, you want to make sure that you can put your passport in here, which it does. Um, I've used that before, um, but it doesn't scream out like rob me. Right. You know what I mean? So um, it's not that kind of like a flashy kind of bag. Um, and at the same time, it, it still does elevate your look. So it's not super casual. It's not, although it's canvas, um, it's kind of the colors and the patterns you on, you know, you see here, you kind of know that it's an kind of like an expensive bag and the, you know, the trimmings are real leather, which is really also quite high quality. Like if you see the stitches, it's very um, equal and consistent. You don't see any threads coming out of it which I really appreciate. So these are the uh, things that I enjoy. <laughs> now coming to the things that I think the bag should work on. Um, first of all, this is a clutch with chain. Um, a lot of you who owns a wallet on chain or a clutch on chain, you'll probably have the option of making it um, shorter, um, you make it into a double chain or even make it a clutch. Um, this one, you can't do anything with it. It will just be this, long chain right here. I never really had um, the need to modify the chain length or anything, so it's not such a big problem for me, but for those of you who would want your back to be a little bit more versatile, um, this wouldn't be it. It can only be a crossbody or just like a one shoulder bag. The other thing that I find a little bit annoying is um, I'm the kind of person that when I take something out of my bag, I tend to leave it open like this. And um, that's a really bad habit, which I'm trying to fix, but that's not the point. The point is there is this little gape right here that um, some small things will run out and drop out um, if you're not careful. So it can be small coins, um, small bobby pins, any small items like a one AirPod would 
um, escape. So if they can just close that gate, that would be perfect. I don't think it's going to change the dynamic or the flap of the bag, but yeah, it's there. And the last but not least, this is not exclusively to this bag specifically, but um, for those of you who are used to using chain straps, um, you will, if the bag has some sort of weight on it or you overstuff it like how I usually do, it will leave a chain mark on your shoulder. Um, and this one is very thin, so it can get a little bit uncomfortable. Um, but it doesn't really bother me that much, but I know some of you are um, prone to, you know, having that chain mark and sometimes it can be uncomfortable. So just these are the things that you should know. Um, overall, I do think this is a really good bag. I do reach out to it more often than other bags I have in my collection. And um, with the price I bought it for, uh, which was under uh, 650 euros, um, I think it's pretty worth it for a brand name bag with very high quality and it looks pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pay for it if it's over what I paid for in 2022, but that's your call. Um, they do come in other colors as well. I think it comes in a, a white one and a canvas one. Thank you for watching my channel. I hope you like it and leave a comment down below on what are the things I should improve on. Thank you.